Hey guys, as some of you know, we spent yesterday going through the shop, getting things cleaned out and organized and getting some of my small engine stuff performance checked. But we had the BT200X Coleman off-road mini bike yesterday. That started off and started up without a flaw, ran just fine. The Champion 4000 generator, which is, you know, the more important item, did not start, which is kind of a bummer because it's always started. I have not had an opportunity to use this in an emergency power out situation yet, so I wanted to get it out, make sure it ran, and it didn't. It didn't start. So we tried a little bit of starting fluid, verified that it had oil, because some of these have you know oil safety cutoff switches where when the oil gets below a certain level, it uh, won't start. It had plenty of oil, put some fresh fuel in it, would not start. Got it to fire a few times with the starting fluid. So I know it has spark, I know it has air, but it didn't appear to be getting fuel. So got frustrated yesterday, you know, it was Memorial Day and uh, went and ate my smoked chicken and went to bed. Today, after seeing that all the generators in the area are flying off the shelf and even almost had a good deal on a new cat generator from a pawn shop, which fell through on me, I decided I needed to get this thing going ASAP. So I came home today and what I did was I shut off the valve, obviously for the fuel, but then I took off the carburetor bowl. Now let's check out the inside of the carburetor bowl. Look at that grime. So also notable, when I took off the carburetor bowl, it was empty. So ding, 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 bingo, we are not getting fuel. We have air, we have spark, we do not have fuel. Here's a pro tip, guys. As somebody that did work professionally as a mechanic for several years, these small engines, generally, if you're not getting air, fuel, or spark, you're not going to run. It really only is those three things. Clearly, we're not getting fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this all out. We're going to maybe pull a couple more components here. Make sure there's no, uh, you know, valves or other orifices clogged. Give it a good clean out and reassemble it. Get some fresh fuel into the system. And we will retry from there. So. All right, guys. So I have the carburetor out. And it was probably about the simplest carburetor to remove ever. Especially compared to that damn mower out there. So we're just going to take this over into the light. <clears throat> now have the uh, the carburetor removed completely. And you can see the bottom of the float. I mean, look at that grime in there. So obviously we have some blockage. The fuel bowl in the carburetor was empty. The line coming in was verified that there was fuel coming in. So we have blockage probably within that little tiny needle valve that the float controls. So we're gonna clean out all this grime, get it all cleaned up, and then uh, we'll reassemble it. Tomorrow, we'll do a follow-up video, or if I can find time in the following days, after I get this cleaned up and reassembled, to see if this uh, fixed the generator in-op problem. So more to come, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back for more in the future.